G'day, my name is Jodie and welcome to Spark Labs Makerspace, where your big ideas are welcome and we get to design and build things and then improve them to make them even better. But Makerspace isn't just for when you come to Spark Lab. You can be a maker anywhere. Being a maker is just about having a go. Think about your challenge and what you have around to help you solve it. Look for some ideas online, in pictures, or in your imagination. Use whatever you have at home. Make something, test it out, and then improve it so it better meets your challenge. I was playing on the flying fox at the playground the other day, and it made me think about zip lines. A zip line is just a rope or a cable tied between a high point and a low point that's used to transport goods or people over tricky terrain, like a river or a rocky mountain or across a gorge. Have you ever seen a zip line before? Our challenge today is to make a device to safely transport an object or a person along a zip line. Think about what you would like to transport along your zip line and where you might be sending it and why does it need to get the other side. Thinking about these things will help you decide what size and shape your device needs to be and whether it needs to have any special features. What ideas do you have for your zip line? I think I'd like to transport this character here. I'm going to pretend that they're stuck on a mountain and that I need to safely transport them down to the ground. Hmm. I think I'd like my device to be like a stretcher in case my bushwalk has gotten hurt while being on the mountain and they might need to lie down on the way down. And I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to keep them safe so that they don't fall out on the way down. What will you need to think about for your design? Lots of makers just use what they have around. Think about the different properties of what you find and if they might be suited to what you're about to make. I found a bunch of cool things. Let me just go get them. I have some cardboard and paper here that can be folded and cut. I have some pipe cleaners, some string, and some twisty ties that are really good for tying. I've got this flexible and bendy plastic and some hard and round things like these pencils and lids. I also found these clean containers and boxes in the recycling, some other bits and bobs, and these scraps of fabric here. I bet there are lots of different materials for making at your place. You'll need some scissors and tape to help you put it all together too. Talk to your adult to make sure that what you find is safe and okay for you to use. I think I'll need to make sure my device is strong, but soft enough that the person is comfortable while traveling down the zip line. Hmm. These pencils look like they'd be good to make the outside nice and sturdy. And this piece of plastic would be good, I think. It doesn't rip or stretch when I pull on the sides, but it's flexible and I think it'll work really well to cradle my bushwalker. Hmm. How will I attach to the zip line? I'll have to find something that will help me hang on. Um, I wonder what shape it'll need to be. Hmm. Well, I've got my materials. I've got some ideas. It's making time. I think this is gonna work. Time to test it out. I've set my zip line up between the table and the roof here, making sure that it's stretched nice and tight. You might like to set yours up between a table and a chair or something else. Just make sure that it's in a safe place and not somewhere where somebody might trip over it. 
skinny guy, little buddy. What did you notice about the way it moved? Did it move the way I expected it to? Or did something unexpected happen? What parts of my design worked well? Well, it was sturdy, it stayed together, and my person stayed safely inside. But I noticed that it stopped partway down the line and wasn't that smooth, which wouldn't be that great for getting the person down to the ground safely. What do you think's happening? When I put my device up high on the zip line, the force of gravity is pulling it down towards the ground. That's why it started moving along the zip line. I wonder if my device didn't travel so well because it was very light. Maybe if I add a bit more weight, that will help. But there are other forces at work too. The hook I made was a bit squished onto the line. Where the hook rubs against the line, we have friction. Friction is the force between two surfaces that are sliding across each other. Friction always slows the moving object down and was slowing my device down here. Maybe I would have less friction if I made the hook shape a bit wider or changed what I used to attach it with. Time for some improvements. What changes would you make to this design? Time to test it out. How do you think my device might move? Yeah! That made it to the ground exactly the way I wanted it to. Looks like adding that extra weight and fixing the hook, changing the hook, really helped. When the forces pushing in the opposite direction, like friction and drag, are greater than the forces pulling my device forward, then my device will slow down or even possibly stop. If the forces pulling my device are greater, then the carrier will move down along the zip line. Changing the shape and weight of your device, how your device connects to the zip line and the surface of the string will change the forces at work. I wonder what might happen if I change the angle. Would my device work the same? Whoa, that went really fast that time. That squished hook would have worked a little bit better on that. I think I needed more friction. What changes could you make to your design so it would work on a higher or lower zip line? Test out your device on a zip line made of different material, like dental floss, or maybe with something else inside. Does it move the same or does it move differently? What changes would you need to make to your design to adapt it to a different scenario? Thanks for joining me to do some making in Spark Lab today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. What materials do you find around you to build with at home? What will you transport down your zip line? We'd love to hear all about your making adventures at home. Make sure you send us your stories and your pictures.